In our previous video, I have demonstrated the API design process. In this video, we will explore API development process from the backend perspective. We will also demonstrate how the front-end engineers can use our smart mock function to start their API development process. Okay, now we will discuss about development process by bringing the API design to life. Once the API is designed and specifications are ready, we can start the process. The backend developers can start their development journey from here with this generate code option. By utilizing the defined API specifications, you can either select generate client codes or server starts and client SDKs for the entire project. This option supports all possible programming languages and frameworks such as JavaScript, PHP, Python, C, etc. You can also configure the coding style from here. The backend engineers only need to add their business logic on the basis of the generated code. Now, let me showcase our smart mock function. When the backend is developing the code, the frontend can also enter the development process. Let's consider backend API hasn't been developed yet and the frontend doesn't have any data to use. In that case, they can use API doc to generate mock data. You will find mock area with possible three options within the API specification. First one is local, local mock option which comes with your API desktop client application and this is local to your instance. This is not quite as friendly for team collaboration but very friendly for personal testing. The second one is cloud. Cloud mock option is actually running in our API doc server and this one is very useful for team collaboration, but you need to turn it on for utilization from the setting. If you turn this on, then you can share it with your team members or with your API partners as well. And they can just simply use the URL and get an overview of the mock responses. So every time I refresh, this will come up with new sets of data. This is particularly useful feature called smart mock. As long as the API is defined, the frontend can use this data. Most importantly, there is no need to do any configuration, no need to write any script. If you need a fixed return, you can go to the edit option and from here, go to the mock area. You can just directly select one of the fields and write the desired fixed output manually. As advanced smart mock option, you can find many other rich functions like mock expectations, mock scripts, etc. And now we will discuss about the third option, self-hosted. If you have a self-hosted mock server, then you can also connect this one here to generate mock responses within your own server. So based on your requirements, you can pick and choose which option that you prefer. Now we can start smoke testing from the UI. Let's switch to run here and you can set the parameters. All right, now it's time to send our target request after defining the API. We need to check the responses to verify whether the data returned by the API aligns with our expectations or not. For example, with this API, let me click send and you will see that in the bottom right corner, there is a validation section. It will automatically have a check against the data the backend server returns. This check validates if it matches the API specification or not. So anything that doesn't match the API specification will automatically trigger error. These minor issues don't require backend smoke testing. We can resolve this directly, which will clearly enhance the quality of the backend code output. But if your API body is a JSON, then it might be a little complex to put together a wall of them manually. Now this is where API dog will help you to ease the process. You can switch to run section, click on body and then JSON and simply click this auto-generate button. It will automatically return the data within few seconds. Next, let me show you this insert dynamic value feature and how it works. We can select this name and click on insert dynamic value from here. We can select data generator option and look for name then full name. Furthermore, dynamic value also support functions like MD5, Base64, substring and many other options. This makes it very convenient to use. Let's press insert to try it out. Now, if we send the API and check the actual request section, 
you will notice that every time I send the request, it will come up with a new full name. Now, let me explain another useful feature of API Doc, where you need to write scripts for all your pre- and post-processors operation in traditional tools. In API Doc, most of the pre- and post-processor operations can be configured visually. No need to write any script. You can just add Postman syntax from the custom script like this. You can also reference commonly used scripts as public script that you have written and saved earlier from here. If you want, you can also add assertions. Just fill in the details here. Then click on Exist to check. Yes, it works. You can also extract variables using our store variable option, which can transform the response of the previous API into environment variables or global variables. You can manage all the variables from here. What's most impressive that API Dog also supports database operation from here as well. Finally, after setting up all these API requests, simply click save as cases just give it a name and press ok once set this will be listed below the api this is an unique concept in api doc since all operation in api doc revolves around apis and an api can have multiple sets of parameters so we recommend saving sets of parameter as an independent api case during smoke testing, this practice makes debugging easier for future sessions and allows you to easily reference them in the testing scenarios. Thanks for watching. We just demonstrated API dogs designed for smooth and we recommend it to most of our users. But if your team is used to writing the code first, then switching back to request first mode will be a good option for you as well.